Okay, it's Beer O'Clock Gal, the Real Ale Guide. We are carrying on with the Christmas calendar beer countdown, 2012. Today's beer is Eskilstuna Old Couture, Vinter 1, or Vinter I Brunsbacken. It's 5.6% ABV. And again, it's a, it's a Swedish beer sent to me from Johan in Sweden. Trying everything or trying a lot of the beers from Eskilstuna. Um, I was introduced to this to this brewery earlier on in 2012. I'm really excited to get this open. I've probably reviewed three or four of their beers now, maybe a few more. Um, again, it's another great Swedish brewery. Some cracking beers coming out of Sweden at the moment. Uh, quite a bit of smoke on this one. It looks a dark beer. Let's get it into a glass. It sure is. It's an off-white head. Two finger. Tan coloured. Carbonation in the glass. It's fizzing away. Colour of the beer is jet black. There's just a hint there at the bottom. You can see the colour of the beer. With my own eye I can see it a little bit better. But it's just a hint of that kind of redness in the... in coming through the glass so it's a tint of red in there but otherwise it's an extremely extremely kind of dark mahogany uh, almost black beer um, let's get a nose on this one then oh, I'm picking up almost like port characters definite port in this one Hints of chocolate and spice. Oh, it smells absolutely divine. Got to get into this one. Cheers, everyone. Hey, yo. This reminds me of a week ago. A week ago I reviewed um, Johan's homemade Swedish glog and with cinnamon biscuits and this has got all of the kind of hallmarks. There's cinnamon in this. Cinnamon, it's floral, kind of flowery spicy as you'd expect with the cinnamon roasted malt chocolate Christmas cake galore raisin licorice vanilla oh this is um we are nine days away from Christmas Day and this is a real cracker. This gets you into that kind of Christmas spirit. Pardon me. Mouthfeel. I'd say this is more along the refreshing mouthfeel. I I try not to use the kind of thick and thin in beers. When I took about a, th uh, a thick beer, if you like, mouthfeel, it's creamy, luxurious, um, it's full. But when I talk thin in the beer world, I like to talk refreshing because that's where I see it. I see it kind of one of them beers you can taste the water quality. It's it's just kind of bang, it's a refreshing beer, but it's got all these kind of clovey cinnamon characters to it. Hmm. 
another cracky beer. So I got some left. Now, this shows an, an example of this kind of dark beer. It's 5.6% ABV, it's dark coloured. And there you go, they put a label on there, but with the date of best before 2013. Which is next year. But if you peel the label off, as I did earlier, you see that that 2013 is actually more of a, a kind of scope. Best before the 15th of the 7th 2011. You see that? And it just shows they probably had some of this from last year and thought let's give it a try. Probably had a lot spare. Let's give this one a try. Unless they've used the wrong label. And they've gone actually this is absolutely fine. It may have even aged a little bit better. So, pardon me. It just shows, as I said, an example of beer being able to age over time and with it tasting better. And I think beer is a fascinating subject. And I think you've got to be a little bit careful there seems to be a kind of a bandwagon at the moment of drink the beer fresh, drink the beer fresh or don't drink it at all. I think um, we've got to be a little bit careful as to kind of how fresh you want to taste the beer because as this is proven, a beer of this quality, of this ABV, can age nicely. Final thoughts on a rating then for me, The Real Ale Guide. Beautifully spiced, really refreshing, still plenty of carbonation, as you can see, plenty of head retention there. Really enjoy this one, nice cinnamon kind of Christmas spicy beer. Probably two years ago, I would have gone, oh, I can't drink that, don't like that at all, don't like all them kind of spicy uh, flavours that should be in a curry. But, over time, it's amazing. You drink so many of these beers, these kind of spicy, floral, cinnamony, kind of clovey beers, and you get used to them, and you really enjoy them. Um, so for that reason, um, I'd like to drink one of these on Christmas Day. Um, I'll probably be having a little bit of Swedish Glock as well. So I'm going to give this, I'm probably going to give this, I'm going to give this an 8 as well, an 8 out of 10. Um, thanks for watching me, The Real Ale Guide. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe if you like, and cheers.